In this video, you'll learn how to embed audio files directly into your post in Beehive for your readers to listen to. This can be helpful if you run a podcast, record interviews, or have audio summaries of your newsletters. Let's get straight into it. First, log into your Beehive account and go to posts on the left-hand side to create a new post or choose from an existing one. Once you're in the post editor, enter the forward slash key followed by audio or click on the plus icon on the left-hand side and select audio from the menu. After you do this, you'll see an audio component appear in your post. From here, you can drag and drop a file or click upload audio file to add an audio file to your post. Once you upload an audio file, you'll now have the option to customize the appearance of the audio component. Just click on the component and you'll see a menu of options right above it. First, you can change the thumbnail image that appears on the audio component by clicking on the component and selecting the thumbnail icon from the list of options. Here, you can upload a new image from your device or select from your image library. Your image library will show all the images you've previously uploaded in Beehive, and it'll also let you choose from images and GIFs from Giphy and Unsplash. After adding a thumbnail, you can click on the pencil icon to change the title of the audio component. By default, the text that appears on the audio component will be the name of the file you uploaded. After selecting the pencil icon, you can rename this text and the changes will be reflected on the audio component. Next, you can change the background color of the audio component by clicking on the paint bucket icon. Here you can choose from a number of preset colors or you can choose a custom color using the color picker tool. The next option will allow you to download your audio file. And finally, the last one will allow you to replace or remove the existing audio file. After adding and designing your audio component, you can click on the preview option in the top right corner of your screen to see how it'll look like on different devices and on web and email. It's important to note that in emails, the audio component will show a play online button that will redirect users to the web version of the post where they can play the audio file. On the web version of your post, however, the component will feature a play button with options to go back or forward and adjust the speed of the audio. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you might like the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.